Hello everyone. Welcome to Nano Opto Electronics Lab. In this video, I am going to show you how to analyze SAED pattern using ImageJ software. SAED or Selected Area Electron Diffraction is an important technique for characterizing a crystal structure. Let's get started. First, open ImageJ on your laptop if you haven't downloaded it yet, you can download it from its official website. Now open SAED pattern. You can either go to file and select open to open SAED pattern or just drag and drop the pattern into the workspace. Here, I have an SNO2 SAED pattern. Next, go to Analyze and select Set Scale and select Click to Remove Scale to clear any existing scale. Now, use the Line tool to draw a line over the calibration mark on your pattern. I'm pressing shift along with it to get your straight line. Now, go to analyze and select set scale. Now, set known distance as five and the unit of length as one by nanometer. And then click OK. Now, select the oval tool to select the diffraction ring. Here, I am pressing shift key along with it to get your perfect circle. Now, press Control M to measure the area of the ring and press Control D to draw over the ring for reference. Repeat this process for continuous four to six rings. Now save the area measurements. Go to file and select save as Now open the saved file we don't want this three column so I'm just deleting that from this area we have to find radius and the interplanar spacing value for that we use the area formula area of the circle is equal to phi r square by this formula, we can derive the radius formula r is equal to square root of a by pi. So now radius formula is equal to s q or t. Cell number here is B2 divided by 3.14, which is the value of pi. And I'm just dragging it to all values. And now from this R, we have to find D value. For that, using the formula equal to 1 divided by R. Now the ra radius cell number is C2. And here I am just dragging. Here the D value is in nanometer. 
we have to convert this into Armstrong. For that, we are using the formula equal to cell number D2 into 10. Now, we have this D value. Now, compare the calculated D spacing values with the standard JCPDS card to identify the HKL indices for the diffraction ring. Here, this is the JCPDS value of SNO2. Here, C, the first value is 3.40. And here 3.35, its HKL value is 110. And second value is 2.6, here 2.64. And here 2.35, and here 2.36, and here 2.15, here 2.12. Now saved your SAED pattern by going to file and select save as and select TIFF format to get a quality pattern. Now open PowerPoint. Insert the saved pattern. Now, label the HKL values based on the calculated D space with JCPDS card. Finally, we labeled the SAED pattern with HKL values based on calculated D space and JCPDS card. This completes the analysis process. Thank you for watching this video on SAED pattern analysis using image J. If you found it helpful, please like, share and subscribe to this channel.